Now let's return to the easy step interview here and let's continue on through with preferences and start date. Preferences tell QuickBooks what features to turn on and off and how to handle transactions within your company file. Let's click on next. Do you collect sales tax? Yes. Next, select one of the following options. Whether you collect a single tax to a single taxing agency or multiple taxes. We collect multiple taxes. Next again, invoice format. QuickBooks has several invoice formats to choose from. Here we can tell QuickBooks what invoice format to choose. Don't worry, any of the choices you're making right now you won't be stuck with. You can go back and change them after you start working with your QuickBooks software if you want to. We're going to select the service invoice. Do you want QuickBooks to help with payroll? Yes. Estimates? Yes. We do provide estimates. We might provide more than one estimate per invoice. Would you like to track the time? Yes. Classes, or some people call these departments? Yes. Here, you want to tell QuickBooks how you process your payables. Some people don't use QuickBooks to, tr to track AP. In other words, they don't in enter invoices from vendors into the system and then process payments based on those invoices in the system. If that's what you do, click the first choice. We enter our invoices in the system and then process checks. So we're going to leave the second choice selected. Reminders. If you want to use reminders, then make the appropriate choice here. How do you prefer to see your financial reports on an accrual basis or a cash basis? Whatever your preference here is, select that. Within reports, once you run a report, you can always change to the other method. Now our preferences are completed. Next, we're going to begin the start date. This is very important that you select the correct start date. Here QuickBooks walks you through and talks about start date. What's important is to enter a start date that works for your company. We have reconciled financials and a balance sheet as of December 31st 2002. So our start date for QuickBooks is going to be that date because we're going to be entering, we'll, we'll be able to enter a trial balance and reconciled bank balance as of that date. And then from that date forward is when we're going to enter all of our transactions in QuickBooks. So your start date is exactly that. It's your beginning date of when you're going to start entering transactions into QuickBooks. And we've completed the general section. Now we're going to move into the second of five tabs within the Easy Step interview.